Well, as you can see, I got the uh, latch figured out. Anyway, let me uh, get you in a little closer so you can see what I did. I welded up a couple of rod, well, three sections of 5 16 rod and four sections actually, and a little wedge shape. And welded in little channels on the rails to act as guides. And I also figured out how to control the spacing on that. I welded up uh, some stainless and then uh, yeah, look at my ugly welds. And then milled out. Oh, by the way, I have a mill. Anyway, I uh, milled out sections of a little half inch angle iron and welded that up on there and then a nut on each side to keep the spacing so when I pull on this the whole thing goes. There we go. <laughs> But anyway, so this is now as secure as it's going to get. I still got to figure out some sort of handle or maybe I'll just leave it like it is. I don't know. And I think I'm ready to go cast some metal. Well, I got a mill. Um, it was a sort of late birthday present from my brother. Um, I'll be doing some machine work for his business. It's a Grizzly G0705, no power, nothing, except for the whatever horsepower that motor is. I think it's a two horse, maybe. Anyway, um, y'all know about the little bench top mill drill, so I ain't going to go into all the details. It's not as good as the Bridgeport style or even the uh, medium or smaller knee mills like uh, oh John at Double Boost has. I really like his mill. I wanted one, but I can't afford to buy one by myself and this is what my brother got me, so it's good enough. Well, as you see, I got a mill, thanks to my brother. Uh, uh, good old Grizzly G0705. Uh, I forget where I got this old vise, but I had to do a lot of cleaning, and I still have a lot left to do. But this was one of the jaws. It was a special fixture for something. I've got to clean it up, and then mill it down to get rid of the these uh, divots whatever and cut it off so it's more even with the edge of the mill and this will be the first chips I make with this thing so I guess I ought to plug it in
off afterwards. But I want to clean up the face so when I remelt the jaws, they're all nice and even. That's assuming that the old vice is reasonably even, which it don't look like it is. Barely cut on the back side, so this surface isn't exactly parallel. But that's the whole purpose of cleaning it up. <laughs> yeah, my brother handed me a little step stool to about a foot tall to sit on. I don't think that's going to work. That'll work, sort of. If I can keep it off the power cord. There we go. Uh, will work. So let's run down. Another ten thou, according to these stupid dials.
it is. Nice. Smooth mill finish. Mm -hmm. Well, rough mill finish. It's not super smooth, but it's only a two flute mill. I could put four flute in there and clean it up some, but that's good enough for the time being. I made my first chips with my new mill. De-virginized the mill. <laughs>